game three or game two? This is game three. Two game zero three? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every Everything just runs together. Uh, you yeah, see so yeah, many I mean, Kenseis Kensei and, Warlord. and Warlord on, I think we've been on this map for, for like most of this set. So in, in, in this game currently, Barrack taking quite a bit of damage, Ghost relatively healthy, has taken a little bit of damage, but Barrack is now below half HP while Razor and Antonio both haven't even lost a full bar of HP yet. Uh, so this is definitely an uphill battle for Ghost and Barrack here. Ghost going to have to kind of pick up a bit of the damage slack here because Barrack is not going to be able to play that front line as efficiently as he wants to. does not have the health bar to block attacks with. And it looks like Ghost is going to take just a bit more damage as well at half HP. A nice dodge on that headbutt by Barrack and an another dodge as well saving him a bit of damage the crushing counter will go through but he will get guard broken for it doesn't die he does take the top heavy but interestingly ghost goes down first Barrack will drop right here the Barrack with the lowest HP does last the longest now it is 1-0 in favor of Razor and Antonio yeah, Razor and Antonio playing far better in that round than they have in some rounds past uh, able to just conserve their health bars a lot more and you know it's it's such an obvious thing you know you don't want to eat damage uh, but I mean it's not always easy uh, and we saw Barrack and uh, Ghost getting a little bit over aggressive at times or just uh, poorly positioning themselves and just eating too much and it ends up costing them such it's an, it's an obvious thing but something you have to be very careful of you, know, you don't want to be standing in a bad spot and end up unable to dodge or unable to cover your teammate or something similar. And now, uh, this round looking very close. Antonio, very low on HP, about a bar to work with. Barrack trying to get out of that corner, not wanting to be body blocked or anything. And Ghost actually taking a lot of damage because Barrack was rolling away. And a crushing counter coming out, everyone very low. This is anyone's round. Antonio gonna be the first to fall. Razor in a very scary 1v2. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, headbutt for a Helm Splitter for another headbutt for an Unblockable, it's gonna happen. And Antonio and Razor not looking as good in that second round, though it was very close. Yeah, definitely very close. That's what we're used to seeing, even when uh, Barrack and Ghost win, for the most part, it is always with relatively low health bars. Uh, so it is always interesting to see these, these games where the health bars are quite high. And Antonio doing a little bit of work to make it to where these health bars go down by that heavy hitting both uh, Ghost and Barrack. And Barrack eating yet another side heavy from the Kensei. Antonio doing uh, quite a bit of work here. Nice parry from Ghost, who's not going to be able to follow up with any kind of damage. Uh, Pommel Strike is dodged. No damage will come out of that. Light Attack was indeed blocked. Zone will come out, but will be blocked by. Razor Ghost gets a heavy parry onto Antonio. Target swapped finisher there. Does not find its mark. Nice crushing counter there from Razor Ghost is very, very low. Antonio with, I was going to say, as with similar health to Barrack, but after that, he is going to have less HP. Barrack tries to back dodge, gets guard broken for it, and dies just as Ghost dies as well. So two to one in favor of Pug Please. Antonio and Razor are only one round away from picking up their first game of Grand Finals. Keep in mind, if they lose any, uh, this game, the next game, or uh, potentially a fifth game, they will lose the tournament. So they are two rounds away from elimination uh, at this point. Got to be careful, uh, because if they lose this map, it's all over. They're going to need to win one of these next two rounds in order to secure uh, this map and make it to a fourth one. And, uh, thus far, it's looking relatively even. No team having a clear advantage. Uh, everybody missing about a bar or so of HP, though Barrick uh, and Antonio a little bit lower than that. And a nice crushing counter for Barrick, able uh, you know, to make the decision not to punish off of the headbutt, bait out the crushing counter, uh, or rather bait out the heavy to, to perform the crushing counter. Now everybody at about two, three bars. A slight, uh, an ever so slight advantage for Razor and Antonio. A light parry for Barrack means he's going to be able to get a headbutt on Razor. 
And another headbutt on Antonio here. Anyone's round at this point. Everybody a bar of HP. Light attack lands on Razor. Another light on Antonio. And a nice light from Ghost as well as the Swift Strike will finish off Defenders both enemy players. Win. And that's going to be uh, a fifth round. And we could see the end of the tournament right here, Soresu. It's all up to whether or not Razor and Antonio can keep themselves round alive. Five. Yeah, this, this final round, we've been in this position before. Uh, with Antonio and Razor being down in this game five scenario, one loss, eliminating them from the tournament and then seeing them come back. So you can't necessarily count Razor and Antonio out just yet, but you also cannot do the same with Barrick and Ghost. Both of these teams just have incredibly competent players in it, at least for the most part. I'm sure some people would disagree with that, but in any case, Game five, Barrick and Ghost not doing as well in this in this current round. Ghost is almost dead. Ghost actually is dead. Uh, Headbutt will uh, secure that kill. Does a uh, Barrick tries to do a bash option select does not hit it, and is it, this looks familiar. This looks very familiar. Two zero now turns into a two one. And we see Razor and Antonio with a little bit of life here, continuing on to this bracket reset grand finals. Yeah, toward the, that fifth round, you know, we saw Ghost dying when Barrick was at basically full HP, which should never happen. Uh, you know, as, as we've talked about before, you know, you, you want your Warlord to be out in front, uh, defending, uh, or rather opening up for the Kensei to get some damage, and while your Kensei is sitting in the back, uh, just trying to cover and, uh, you know, if anyone you want the Warlord to be taking damage because uh, he's the one that's often in front. It's not typical that your Kensei ends up dying before your Warlord. Um, and to have your Warlord sitting at, at full HP, you know, it, it's strange for either character to be sitting at full HP with the other one dead. But uh, especially the Warlord, something uh, definitely has gone wrong that you need to reevaluate if you end up in that scenario. And so we're going to need to see Barrack and Ghost uh, you know, figure out how to better cover each other here because uh, there, there was a little bit of uh, lack of cover there from a number of things. Uh, I know that there was a little bit of a messed up positioning. Uh, so if we can see that fixed up here a little bit, we could see Round games one. four or five going to Barrack and Ghost because they don't have many chances left. Not too many chances left. Indeed, Razor and Antonio still have that uphill battle they have done it once before they obviously can do it again uh, only three uh, three games one more set win separates Beric and and, and uh, ghost from an, uh, from another win in this 2v2 tournament but Antonio and Razor champions of uh, the SCG tournaments as Jones has pointed out multiple times almost every tournament if not every tournament that they have been in for 2v2s they have one nice light parry there from Barrick and a heavy parry I believe from uh, Ghost as well we uh, something that another thing to, of note is that we are seeing quite a bit of parries coming out from both of these teams definitely not something that you normally see in a 2v2 uh, parrying because it's just so uh, it's so risky to do, and a headbutt option select will uh, it will stop that unblockable, and the heavy will be guaranteed from Antonio, and he will get the kill, uh, putting them up one to zero. But both of these teams are parrying quite a lot, and again, it's not something you usually see. It's risky. You're not always going to be able to get a punish off of it, and sometimes you're not even able going going to be able to get damage if you're the uh, person on the same team who did the parrying sometimes you try to you know get damage from a guard break or something but it's just so it's just so interesting to see both of these players uh parrying pretty consistently in all of these rounds and it's not just when they're in these you know pseudo 1v1s where they're both just too too far away from each other to get the peel we see it in the middle of team fights and uh it's it's gone good for both and it's been a problem for both players as well so a bit of a double-edged sword is uh the idea of parrying uh soft faint heavy will be hard fainted but he will eat a zone for his trouble antonio 
Now both of these Kenseis here on the outside of the fight where they should be doing a really good job of keeping Antonio away um, from Barrick to, to uh, pr prevent uh, that kind of peeling. And a nice uh, Swift Strike will avoid that uh, zone from Ghost. But again, here's that parry. He hit. He does, uh, doesn't go for the side heavy, but does hit with a light, which guarantees the Kensei side heavy. No peel came from Razor at all, perhaps too scared uh, to do something, but it is interesting or, or important to note that Barrick could have crushing countered anything. So really, uh, really solid awareness from Barrick as well to guarantee some additional damage onto Antonio. And now both of these players all blinking critical. Barrick does have the most HP. Nice crushing counter, but the zone attack when he swaps over does get the kill. Antonio doing a very, very good job there. Getting that kill two to zero in favor of Pug, please. Yeah, that was the last thing that Barrick and Ghost expected, and you can tell uh, they were they were planning on having Barrick go for the headbutt, and uh, you know Antonio to maybe try to cover it. But the last thing they expected was Antonio killing Ghost out of nowhere, and then they were left with. Uh, you know, you know Barrick did manage to get the kill on Razor, but uh, just as soon after, Antonio managed to finish off Barrick. So, uh, a very unexpected finish there. But Barrick and Ghost looking much better this round, getting a nice HP advantage. Uh, so, it is slowly being whittled away. Uh, keep in mind, Antonio and Razor only one round away now from getting that second game they need to take us to a game five. Ghost at about a bar of HP. This could be the final round uh, of this game if Ghost isn't too careful with his HP. Oh no! But Antonio's actually gonna uh, mess up his guard or something the similar there win. and go down to that heavy that he certainly should have been able to block. And that's gonna be Barrick and Ghost able to pick up this third round, round here, keeping themselves in it. And they're gonna need to get two more going into this next round. Gonna need to get, uh, this, uh, as I said, this next round, as well as the one following, in order to pick up this third game and win the tournament. A couple of attacks coming out from each team. Beric a little bit low right now, uh, and that's gonna be Ghost getting a little bit low himself. Beric trying to set up for the crushing counter bait, but uh, only gonna get a light attack out of it. Hitting Razor out of his zone to cover. Going for a zone of his own. Antonio a little bit low at this point. Needs to be careful. And the Heavy actually going to make contact on Antonio, who now, now needs to be very careful. Razor going to get hit as well. Everyone very low on HP. Zone going to come out. It's going to end up killing Antonio. Now a gank on Razor should finish it. And he will go down. And we're going to go to another, you know, is this the third time that we've been on tournament points or SM? Um, I, uh, second or second or third time. Yeah, it's, it, it's crazy just how, how close these games have been. Uh, Barrick at the end of that just, uh, went full on aggression, trying to give Razor as little time as possible to try and counter any kind of gank coming out from Ghost and, and himself because they are just so low on HP. He tried to just be as aggressive as possible, and it ended up ended up working out. Razor did drop, and now we have an even game, two to two here. That light attack will land on to Barrick. You see another headbutt here. Uh, Swift Strike will find its mark. Another light attack, reduced damage, but still a light attack. Nice crushing counter. Unfortunately, does not hit Antonio. Antonio spacing that relatively well here, so the crushing counter not doing too much of anything in terms of damage from both of these players just trying to play somewhat slow antonio whiffing a light probably hoping that he can hit the kensei does not and instead eats a light for his trouble he does get a guard break and eats a zone for his trouble as well antonio and barrack both at a bar of hp he decides to try and top heavy the kensei expecting peel of some kind i think the kensei was far enough away where he could have gotten the top heavy onto razor i'm not sure a failed parry i think from uh from antonio and he does drop eric very very low ghost even lower if you look at the top uh health bars nice peel 
from Barrett, keeping uh, keeping Ghost alive, and then a light attack there, sealing the deal. That is going to be uh, the first tournament, to my knowledge, that we have seen uh, Antonio and Razor be defeated in a duel.